Hello, this is Teacher Malu and welcome back to Math Habit. Okay, so in this video, ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay Solving linear equation in one variable. Okay, so pag sinabi natin linear equation, it is an equation of straight line. So pag in-drop natin siya, kagaya ng illustration na nasa uh, left side, straight lang yung magiging uh, kalalabasan ng kanyang graph. And also, pag sinabi natin linear equation, the highest degree or power is 1. Okay, so para mas maintindihan natin, let's have an illustration. Okay, so we have example here, 2x plus 7 equals 19. Okay, so uh, linear equation in one variable siya kasi isa lang yung variable niya, which is x. Okay, isa lang yung ating variable dito sa ating equation. And linear equation din siya kasi ang highest degree niya ay 1. So, ito yung 1. So, usually, pag degree ay 1, din na natin siya isinusulat. Uh, so, this equation is a linear equation in one variable. Okay, so, okay, so meron tayong dalawang ways kung paano natin masasolve ang value ng ating variable x. Okay? So, una... Subtract 7 to both sides. Okay, so ang goal kasi natin para makuha natin yung value ng variable na x, kailangan ma-isolate natin yung x. Maiwan siya dito. And para maiwan ang ating variable x, kailangan ma-eliminate natin yung value na natin na 7. So ang gagawin natin, so subtract natin yung 7 sa kap, uh, dalawang sides. Okay, we have here 2x plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 19 minus 7. Rule ng algebra na kung ano ang ginawa mo sa side na to, gagawin mo rin sa kabilang side. Okay, so uh, we have here 7 minus 7 that will give us 0. Oh, so, na-isolate na natin yung ating x. And at, uh, hindi pa masyado kasi may katabi pa siyang 2. May coefficient pa siya na 2. So, 19 minus 7 that will give us 12. Okay, so so, to isolate the variable x, uh, divide natin both side by 2. Okay, so 2 divided by 2, that will give us x. And then 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay. And yung isang method, na, method natin is to transpose 7 to the other side. Okay, para uh, ma-isolate natin ang ating 2x, ililipat natin yung ating 7 sa kabilang side. Okay, so we have 2x is equal to 19. Ililipat natin yung 7 sa kabilang side. So, kung at, ang term natin is positive, paglipat niya sa kabilang side, magiging negative term na siya. So, kung negative to, paglipat niya sa kabilang term, magiging positive siya. Okay, so let's continue. 2x is equal to 12. Uh, 19 minus 7 is 12. Okay, to eliminate, uh, to isolate the variable x, divide both sides by and then we have x is equal to 6. Okay. So, parehas ang nakuha natin na uh, value ng x. Uh, meaning to say, pwede natin gamitin yung dalawang method na to. Okay. So, since pwede yung gamitin parehas, ang advantage lang ng transpo, uh, transpose method is mas makakasave kayo ng time. Pero kung saan kayo mas uh, nadadalian, pwede yung gamitin. Okay. Okay. So, we have example number 2 here. 12m minus 10 is equal to 6. Okay, so one variable siya, but this time, hindi natin ginamit ang variable na x. So, ginamit natin ay variable na m, but still, isa, rin, isa pa rin lang yung variable na ginamit natin. Okay, so, uh, so again, may two ways tayo on how to solve the variable or the value of m. So, una is add 10 to both sides. So, bakit add naman tayo ngayon? Kasi, in order to cancel this out, negative 10, i-add natin siya sa 10 para ma-cancel out natin siya. So, ito siya, 12m minus 10 plus m is equal to 6 plus 10. Okay? So, negative 10 plus 10, and that will give us 0. So, we have here 12m is equal to 16. Okay, so para ma-isolate natin yung variable m, divide both sides by 12. Okay, so we have here 
12 divided by 12, that will give us M. And then 16 over 12, uh, improper fraction siya. So, magkakaroon tayo ng mixed fraction, which uh, we have 1 and 4 over 12. Or, 1 and 1 third. Okay? So, pwede rin siya na 4 over 3. Okay, so while yung ating um, next method, the transpose method. Okay, so we have to transpose negative 10 to the other side. So we have here 12m minus equals 6. So since negative 10 siya, paglipat natin sa kabilang side, magiging plus 10. So we have 12m is equal to 16. Okay, to isolate the variable m, divide both side by 12. So, our M is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, so, same ang ating nakuhang value ng variable M. Okay, so, again, ang advantage lang ng ating uh, transpose method is mas makakasave tayo ng time kung nagmamadali tayong magsagot. Pero, just the same, pwede natin gamitin parehas yung dalawang method. Okay, so, I hope natutunan kung paano mag-solve ng Linear equation in one variable. Okay, so in our next video, um, i-solve naman natin ang solving linear equation in two variables. Okay, so kung bago kayo sa channel na to, uh, you can subscribe and share our video pas marami, para mas marami pa tayong ma-help. Okay, so thank you for uh, listening and see you again next time.